Hey y'all, how you doing? On today's episode of King's Auto Shop, we're going to be working on the solar. Massive solar. Spark. So I'm going to show you guys how I set up my solar system on my schoolie. How about that? There's three solar systems on this bus. Four panels each. This is the original roof vent for the bus. I took it off, I put a box on top, sealed it up, because the hole was already through the roof, I figured I would use it, and I didn't want to vent. Let out my heat cool, you know what I'm saying? But my charge controllers were maxed out, so I added a third system just the other day. I just got it done, everything's working good. So as you can see there's six black wires that's two wires per system the red wires go to floodlights around the bus I'll show you those real quick so it is extremely hot out here it's almost 98 degrees it's extremely hot it's 98 degrees so the red wires in that box go up to these floodlights there is a uh, two on each side Two in the back. And they light up the world. It's working good. Um, at some point today, I'm parked under this tree. As you can see, it's, I'm all shaded now. See the shade? But earlier today, I was pulling 96 amps. And, um,. I'll be parked in the sun for a week. Hoping that my air conditioner runs off of all that good stuff. So the AC is on and we are killing batteries. On the right is uh, house batteries. On the left is drive batteries. So I'm gonna show you my batteries and inverter. This is the new one I just installed. Making 7.4 oh, amps. Let's go outside and look at the other ones. This is my electrical bay. This was a wire mess and I moved everything right there. Put in a fuse box and my two charge controllers from my first setup. So we're making 10 amps, 11 amps, plus whatever's inside. And we're in the shade. So these are um, temperature sensors for those fans up there. So when these things get hot, those fans speed up and cool them off. So this is the under the bed battery bank. I took those two Renegies from here, put them up front. I'm gonna put a uh, RV converter in to hook up to my little generator. There's another 200 amp hour energy. So down here we got another temperature control fan, battery switch, uh, bus bars, fuses, huge inverter. Right here, cheap eBay inverter, energy 200 amp. There's a North Star and two more energies back there everything is one aught cable since I added that other charge controller I shouldn't have any problem running my air conditioner in the Sun so when I mounted this these panels there's Unistrut under there and uh, it's just a bolt with a fat washer and a rubber washer underneath it. But as you can see, the rubber washer is dying from the sun. So I just wanted to show you guys these brackets that go in between the panels. I also got some that go um, on the ends, but I can't find them. So, uh, you know, that's how it goes. 
how she rolls sometimes. More projects I'd like to do on the bus is uh, get the propane tanks underneath, get a diesel generator, and uh, that's it. Bigger water tank, maybe? Let me show you this fuel tank I just installed. Added 50 gallons. It's gonna be awesome. So that should be 100 gallons. 100 gallons. That'll get me eight hours down the road. So I got this fuel tank in Florida. It's just a uh, old Ford flatbed fuel tank. I just tied it into the existing tank with valves so I could fill it and shut it off if I want to just haul haul uh, extra fuel around, you know. But it'd be nice to have that diesel generator to uh, just in case. Since I got all this diesel, I also got attachment points on for this awning. There's three of them mounted to the solar rack. And then these poles on Amazon, they're telescoping with cables. And they just stay. They just... They just stay. Also, some motor modifications. I cut down the fuel plate and I uh, added 4,000 RPM governor springs. I uh, turned up the turbo, a couple more pounds of boost, turned up the smoke screws so she chooches a little bit. Yet you all come to us young people for hope. How dare you? How dare you? Well, it's cooled off 20 degrees. Feels good. Um, looks like I'm about to get my solar panels washed. So uh, I'm going to end this video and go edit. Thanks again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And check your freaking oil.